Well, uh, what kind of what kind of legacy would you like to leave behind? Uh, how do you want to be remembered as a competitor? Man, I you know I like everyone like remember like you know the you know like how everything's possible you know like how I worked hard for what I what I have today you know so the people like you know thinks everything that the everything spot where I came from a small city in Brazil, you know, that it was like, I believe in myself all the time, my first teacher as well, so he was one of the guys that was pushing and believing as well, that I was able to to accomplish, you know, the things that I have today. Uh, you know, like, it doesn't matter, like, where you train, you know, you have to... You have to, uh, how can I say? You always have to to, to think that is possible. You, know? you don't need to to train like a bigger gym, you know. Or uh, uh, if, of course, even better if you have like a good mentor, a good like you know, a, like let's say a world champion professor, you know, that can guide you even better, you know. But that's not everything. So if you want some, some, something really bad, you just work hard for it. Uh, you know, and then also, like, i also one of those guys that remember that I accomplish all these things that I have today without using any steroids, any drugs, you know? That's, like, is one thing that a few days ago I post something on my Instagram about it because I think, you know, on these days, I think it's important we mention that because we have been seeing, we cannot say because we cannot prove, you know, but we have been seeing this a lot lately, you know, not, of course, this is not only jiu-jitsu, you know, all kinds of sports, you know, but shortcuts, you know, like the guys want to have a, per, a better conditioning, a better performance, and then they start using this type of things, you know, I, I want to encourage everybody that I accomplish, you know, all these things that I have today, all the all the medals, you know, everything that we we thought to use anything, you know. So that's like it's gonna be my biggest fight when I when I start, you know. I start now already, you know. I start say speak out, and that's gonna be the next ge ge generation, you know. Because if the next ge generation starts seeing that and see that is normal, imagine. How mass is gonna be the sport, you know? So, so just put like you know everybody, like all the the teenagers guys, you know, the professors as well. Sometimes we can see the professors sometimes, you know, pushing the students sometimes to take it since they're young, you know. So that's not good, mm. you know. They have to believe that they can get there without using anything, you know. It's gonna be hard, mm -hmm. and sometimes gonna be frustrating as well because. Myself, I competing with, you know, a lot of guys that I cannot say 100% they are under, you know, drugs, but visual, we can, we can tell, right? And it was a little bit frustrating as well, you know, for me. I said, man, and then I have to work even harder for that. So that's, you know, I want everybody, you know, re remember that. And, and